guys, I got a new toy! And this is the brand new Armour Granite Grom! Look at that! It's tiny! No, that's not what she said. But anyway, this is the full size granite, and this it's the Granite Mini! Or the Grom, whatever that means. So just like the bigger brother, this one here is four-wheel drive, double wishbone suspension, front and rear, oil-filled coilover shocks, plastic chassis, and a body that I have no idea how it comes off. On the bigger brother, it's got these R-clip things. On this one, it's got... I don't know, like the X-Max? Nope. Uh, do you know what? I don't... No? How's that come off? Right, got there in the end. But anyway, that's the inside of it. So we've got a brushed motor and it comes with a 2S LiPo. And oh, look at that. Look at these cute little IC5 connectors. Here's a full size IC5. Here it is compared to the mini one. Actually an IC2. Now the Granite Grom is 130 pounds here in the UK. It's the same in dollars from America. However, if you look at this, the MJX Hyper Go is about the same price on Amazon and a lot cheaper on Banggood. Now it just so happens that I've got a Hyper Go here. So £130, £77. Which one's going to be better? I suppose in this video, we might as well find out. Now the Hyper Go also has a quick release body. Inside is very similar. Plastic chassis, coilover shocks, double wishbone suspension, front and rear. They both have metal drive shafts. The shocks are a bit more shocky on the Hyper, a bit more springy on the armour. Both of them have got these impact absorbing bumpers. But the question is, how much impact? Let's find out. So, the Hyper Go. And the armour. I think they both laughed at that one. Let's get a little bit more height. Here we go, all the way from up here. So first, let's go with the Hyper Go. <laughs> Next up, the Granite. I don't think you'd bash like that in real life, would ya? Yep, both of them took it perfectly. And I've just figured out how to take the body off on the granite. So under here, two little clips, you just squeeze them together, lift the body, boom. The Hyper Go, yep, it might have got some ideas from something. Now with the armour being brushed and the Hyper being brushless, I expect the Hyper to be a lot faster. And for that, we've got a GPS so that we can test it. We're going to do that in a little while, but for now, let's get it running. So in the box, you get the controller, batteries for the controller, instructions with toolage. So let's get the batteries into the controller and plug the car in and on button so steering yep adequate and acceleration yeah i'm expecting the hyper to be a lot faster right staircase of doom will it survive all right here we go hey, ho, ho, ho. this is how small it is compared to the primal it goes underneath by the way, talking of Raminators, you can win one just like this one here. These things are ginormous. The camera does not do it justice. Look, this is my hand. This is a tyre. So if you want to win a brand spanking new one of these with a high output engine, I'm going to put a link to that down below. Also, if you want to win any of my other RC cars, put a comment down below which one you would like to win. Here we've got the version 2 Armour Outcast 8S EXB. This thing here has been fully decked out with all the M2C upgrades, M2C chassis, heavy duty shock shaft, steering assembly, custom RC upgrade, chassis braces. The thing is an absolute beast and you can win that one too, anywhere in the world. And if you win it, I will ship it to your door for free. So yeah, link down below if you want to win one of my RC cars as featured on this YouTube channel. Anyway, that's enough waffle. Let's take them both out, do a speed run and then take them out for a little bash. Here we are on location, quick speed run, then we're going to skate park it. What I've just realised with this, this is on a 2S LiPo, but what did you say you can do? 3S. So in here, we got a 3S LiPo, we're going to speed run them both together, see how fast I go with the GPS, then we're going to try this one on 3S. And this one's got onboard footage. A lot of you guys ask what this is, it's an Insta360 Go, so we hit record on there, and now we can go in. I wonder if that is going to be faster than a learner. You don't reckon? 
Oh, I reckon I can keep up with the learner. Ah, oh, that's much faster. Go, 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 go. There's not much in it. Is that flat out? Oh, was that flat out? Ready, steady, go. There's not that much in it. GPS, zero mile an hour. All right, here we go. I reckon that's got to be, I don't know, 20? You reckon 24? 24, I reckon, yeah. I reckon 20, and you reckon 24. Right, bring him in, let's have a look. 19 mile an hour. Right, next, let's see what that one can do. Yep, that's got a bit of power. I reckon 25. Here we go, 2S. Meow. Oh, oh no, poor GPS. Oh, it's covered in stuff. This is covered in diesel. 25? 25 mile an hour. Three yes time. So the car is absolutely covered in diesel. If you look up the road there, look, diesel, 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 and a great big puddle. There we go, all cleaned up, back onto zero, and three S LiPo in. What did we get before, 25? 25. 25. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Oh, 26? One mile an hour more. It was on storage charge though. Yeah. Here we are on location. What do you reckon of that, Stephen? <laughs> Come on, it, the hell is that? Can we have the other end, please? <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon of that? It's really small. Ah! <laughs> You're a granite fan. I ain't got a granite. Oh. Little pimpers. You're rude today. Yeah. Tiny's out to play. Yeah. Right. Plug him in, boy. Right. I want to see him go compared to this one. But how many S's? How many S's can it take? Six. What, that can take six S? Yes. Oh, and how many S's are you going to put in it? I don't know, probably four. Oh. Four is ridiculous. Four is going to be mad. Six it's supposed to be three, isn't it? Yes. Six would be ridiculous. So while Steve's plugging that in, hmm. let's give this a little warm up on here, see what he can do. Try and take it off from there and land it on that down ramp. Here we go, without yeah, crashing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh! It was a headshot. <laughs> More speed and power. Oh no, front flip though. Ah! Oh. Footage. Footage. Oh, Gaz has got an XRT. Oh, so that is out on 4S. Wow, that left him Oh, that's mad. That's crazy! Well, that's from 4S. That's from 4S, it can do 6S. It can do 6. Footage. I'll give you a race. Ready, steady, go! Ah, oh, he's gone. He ripped his bones off. Oh, God, it's both the XRT. Yeah. We done, mate. King going through there. Not here. Oh, what's this? That's a different invention. Oh, yeah, strong guys. I keep splitting them. Backflip. Nope. <laughs> oh, no, body's off. Oh, Lipo's out. The battery strap's broken. Luckily, we have tape. Here we go, back in action. Here we go, full speed. <laughs> It appears to be pretty much unbreakable, really. Here we go, front flip. Ah, oh, nearly. 
away. Next up, Hypergo. Straight away, I can see that is a lot more lively. What have you got now, Steve? What does that do? Oh! <laughs> Everything Steve has is like completely overpowered. This thing here feels a lot more punchy than the armor. Whoa, yeah, definitely got a lot more power. Let's see if we can backflip it off of that. Well, right, here we go. No, no backflip, but a lot more power. Footage. Here comes Steve. Hey! Tumble, bumble. Right, I'll try a backflip. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yes. Nice. Footage. Footage. Come on. Footage. Under me. Oh, XRT from Gaz. Oh, and he's off. Uh-oh. Oh! On the head! Ah, oh, footage. Nice! Oh! 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 Nearly got ya! Better next time, hey. I'm on that, I don't know how they come down here with you lot. Footage. Well, I'm gonna go full speed from over there, hit that, hopefully. I don't know, over there somewhere. Alright, here we go, full speed to the moon! Oh, 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 oh! Footage! Footage. Oh, here comes Gaz! Uh oh! Oh! Here we go! Oh! Oh, and it landed! And it stopped. No, it doesn't want to go anymore. So we've lost power and not really sure why. Oh, does that come out? That back in. That back on. That back on. Yes, back in action! The trouble is with these little cars, even though they're crazy durable, they're not very stable. You're constantly got turning them over all, like, all the time. Here we go, full power! Here we go, here we go, here we go! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, nailed it! Ah, uh, footage. Hey, what was that you were just doing? Two wheeled donuts on the side. Is that skill? Yeah, power, I think. <laughs> so which one should you get? The armor, a little bit slower, but because of its slower speed and maybe more absorbing suspension, I don't know. It seems a little bit more stable, doesn't fall over as often, doesn't need as many footages. Then the Hyper Go, on the other hand, it's got a lot more power, but it does tend to be upside down a lot more often. Which one should you get? Uh, both are going to be a great choice, really. But this one, you've got the advantage of it being a proper name brand and you can get spare parts absolutely absolutely everywhere. With this one here, you're probably going to have to go to China and wait a few weeks to get your parts. But they don't really break very often anyway, so maybe not an issue. But anyway, if it were me, although these smaller RCs are pretty cool, I'd just spend the time a little bit more and get something full size, like maybe the associated, uh, like the associated MT-10, or maybe like an Armour Centen or something like that, or maybe full size granite. Anyway, if you want to know where you can get them both from, I'm going to put a link to that down below in the description box.